can't really do much with a top hat to, to ruin it. They can steal it or set fire to it. But if you sit in it or run it over with a car, we can mend it in the workshop. It's not a problem. We have a series of, of little bits of machinery. One is the conformature, which looks like a wooden sombrero, which pricks out the head shape. We then have a formillon, which has these little posts that go in to the shape of the conform, which is the customer's shape. Some of them are perfect, some of them are astonishing. It's an amazing little science. And then we melt the hat and put it on the customer's head and it'll stay like that until it's next melted. Silk top hats are no longer produced anywhere in the world. Those hats that exist today are a precious and finite few, and some of the stock that Martin owns are over 200 years old. At the turn of the 19th century, a close friend of the Prince Regent named Beau Brummel decreed that men of elegance should reject overly ornate fashions for one of understated but perfectly fitted and tailored bespoke garments. Brummel's sense of style and authority in fashion soon dictated the dress code for the men in the royal enclosure, a code that is still upheld today. It's all style and no content. And, you know, you can see someone who actually takes the trouble and it stands out a mile.